It is right here in this building of the finance ministry in Bern, where Switzerland's second largest bank, Credit Suisse, has been stabilized in mid-March. It was an unprecedented effort of the Swiss financial authorities. Commentators agreed that with this, the beginning of a new global financial crisis could be avoided. Seven weeks later, I'm now meeting with Swiss bankers president Marcel Rohner to discuss the most recent events. Silicon Valley Bank, Credit Suisse, First Republic Bank, most recently they all had to be saved or collapsed. Uh, there are more banks in the US rumored to be in danger. Is it still correct in your view to say that a global financial crisis has been avoided? We are certainly experiencing significant stress in the financial system as a result of the sharply increasing uh, interest rates. Emerging in the US, we had a sort of a financial instability crisis slowly extending over to the rest of the world. And as such, the swift action of Swiss authorities and UBS has certainly avoided um, a contagion which could have been resulting in a significant disturbance uh, of the financial system or a global financial crisis indeed. After the events of the last week, some people question whether large global banks are still needed at all, especially in a small country like Switzerland. What is your answer as a former CEO of UBS and current president of the Swiss Bankers Association? Why does Switzerland still need large banks? Global financial institutions provide a great deal of services which are highly relevant for globally active corporations. Switzerland is an export nation and we do not want our corporations to be entirely dependent of foreign financial institutions, global institutions, which also provide these kind of services. But over and above those services for the internationally active corporations, a global financial institutions such as UBS also provides important services for the rest of the banking system. And last but not least, it's also a very important institution in the eyes of the rest of the world, demonstrating the power and the prowess of the Swiss Financial Center. Some politicians are now asking for new regulations to prevent any future banking crisis. Do you agree? We certainly take these concerns very seriously. It is uh, only natural that after such an event questions are brought up if these things can be avoided or what needs to be done in the future. We are however convinced that we need to understand in much detail what actually has happened, particularly last October when you had the first wave of substantial client deposit withdrawals and of course during the days and weeks in March where we eventually ended in this emergency takeover. Only a thorough analysis and a very precise understanding of the sequence of events will allow us to draw the right conclusions uh, to amend the regulations if needed at all. After the takeover of Credit Suisse by UBS, there is a big uncertainty what will happen to the Swiss Financial Center. Is the Swiss Financial Center still competitive internationally? Of 239 financial institutions in Switzerland, one had a problem and 238 are prospering, are super sound and are delivering best services at absolute internationally competitive level to their clients. And as such, I'm convinced that the, the very foundation of the success of the Swiss Financial Center is given and will continue to be there and these institutions are continuing to prosper into the future. And last but not least, the takeover of CS by UBS has demonstrated the strength of the Swiss Financial Center. By having an institution which can do that and by having regulatory authorities and the government which acted so swiftly and effectively to come to this solution within a few days only. Particularly with regard to the international interconnectedness, which was clearly demonstrated in the banking sector, there is an international desire for closer cooperation what steps is the Swiss Financial Center willing to take in this regard? Well, we are a global leader in cross-border wealth management as such, and with all the institutions which are active on an international level, we are deeply interconnected. And ever since we have allocated 
a level playing field in regulation, which means that the same rules apply for the same business apply everywhere in the world, and we continue to do so. We are also advocating a um, good relationship with the European Union, open markets, free trade, which we believe is the basic for prosperity for all economies, and we will continue to do so through all the means and the channels we are active on. And last but not least, our regulatory authorities, they are also members of the relevant bodies for international regulations from the Basel Committee on Banking Sub Supervision, such as the Financial Stability Board. And I think with the experience we went through now, Switzerland has to offer a great deal of insight into the development of international regulation when it comes to financial stability. Looking into the future, where will the Swiss Financial Center be in five years' time? We are doing all we can that we continue to grow as a financial center here in Switzerland. We are committed to prepare for the future. Uh, we are working to become a leader in sustainable finance. We are working on digitalization. We have innovative projects all over the place we are working on. So I'm convinced with the combination of our tradition as a trusted uh, location with a sound legal framework, with highly educated experts, we can continue to grow successfully into the future. Marcel Rohners, thank you very much for sharing your time with us. Thank you. Thank you.